Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect to EC2 instance using SSH clients. Uh, we are going to use Putty for that. So we'll also see how, you know, step by step how to connect to EC2 instance using Putty and execute commands on your EC2 instance. So let's get started. So to do this, firstly, you need to have this uh, private key file, <coughs> which can be a PAM file or PPK file, which you would have downloaded uh, when you created your EC2 instance. So if you already have a PPK file, that's fine. Or if you don't have it, if you just have PEM file, let's see how to create a PPK file out of it. So before that, you need to have uh, Putty installed. So if you want to install Putty, you can go to this um, website and download the Putty and install it. So once you are done that, um, open Putty gen and click on load private key here and uh, click on all files. So select this uh, PEM file and click on open and <coughs> click on save private key here. So in, it's asking, whether you want to save this file without a password protection. So if you want additional level of security, you can give a password protection as well. I'm fine without it. So I'll click on yes. And you can uh, give a name to this file. Basically, um, let's call this my EC2 PPK file and say it gets saved as a putty private key file. OK, click on save. So once you have saved this uh, PPK file, um, close this and open putty. So here you can give the host name, uh, IP address. So basically the use this public IPv4 address of your instance and paste it here. And here in the SSH, um, click on auth and click on browse and select the PPK file that you just created. Okay. And click on open here and just don't uh, click on open yet. Go back to session and um, no, save this session so that next time you don't have to uh, load that ppk file everything again so click on save here and once you are done here click on open and it will get so it's asking login as um make sure you give ec2 user and that's done so basically if you are not able to do this and if your putty says connection timed out error that means that there is an issue with uh, your security group. So if you get that uh, error in case, go to your uh, instance and go to security and click on security groups here and make sure that in the inbound rules, you have this rule basically, um, thus the rule allowing SSH from basically anywhere. I mean, you can allow it from anywhere or just your IP. So, but make sure that you have this uh, security, I mean, inbound rule in your security group. Only then it will allow yeah, you to connect to that instance using SSH clients. So that's all for this video. I hope I, you got an idea of how to connect to your um, EC2 instance using so is using SSH clients. So basically, you can I mean execute any commands that you want now. Like I mean, just to see PWD. I mean, where and like we can do who am I and see EC2 users. So so that's how you connect to EC2 instance using. Um, SSH client. So the, the most important thing to remember here is uh, the security group, your security group, which is attached to the CC2 instance needs to have the inbound role allowing the SSH connections to your um, instance. So that's it for this video. Thank you. And uh, please hit that subscribe button.